deflected HP in clockwise direction and the same point which I got, I got on the dotted line which is there by the grey point uh, which is there and the final figure the, which will be there on your sketchbook would be something as this. As we showed you, once we turn the plane out, this is the figure that we obtained through on that. Okay. So, now this, this was the thing about first quadrant. Now, what we will do is, we will move on to the second quadrant and in second quadrant, we will do the same thing so that it becomes clear to you that actually what is the thing that is going to happen. Now, for second quadrant, now for second quadrant, this will be the case. First, it was this way. Now, it will, this will be the case. Okay. So, this is the vertical plane and this is the horizontal plane. So, now the uh, Jana of Hardik and Umangi will uh, describe that how basically by using a torch the projection can be made first or you can use that quadrant first and show them that how it is second quadrant. So, we can compare this, uh, this no, it will be here, it will be here, ah, hold it other way, yeah. Okay, so on this quadrant as you can see that this was the first quadrant and this is the second quadrant. So, we will see it in the second quadrant and we are holding this uh, this thing. Where, uh, so, this is the second quadrant that we are going to use. Okay, so now I will remove this and we will actually draw the figure on the second quadrant that is there. Okay, now for the camera reason we will have to turn the object. So, we are actually turning it a little bit in this manner. Okay, so, it is visible from the front. This is there in the second quadrant. Now, the, what the condition is that this point, this pink point is behind VP. This is the second quadrant. My hand as you can see behind, it gets hidden uh, here. This is the first quadrant. My moving hand is the first quadrant and this hand is my second quadrant. So, uh, yeah, this is a better view that we are having. So, this here, we are having the second, uh, here this is the first quadrant and this is the second quadrant. So, this ball is in the second quadrant now or this point is in the second quadrant. So, now how will we get the uh, transaction? Can you please explain? Light throws to prime so that front view can be seen on the VP. Exactly. And the projection of the point may be drawn. This is the front view on VP and again we will have the top view. Lights through to the point and the projection of point may be drawn on the HP. This is called horizontal plane and this gives the top view. Top view gives the distance of the object. Okay. So, now we will again draw it once again as we did. First, we will draw the top view. Can you please do it? We will see here. Okay. So, we have the top view here. We have this, this is the shadow and this is the ball and this is the light is that is going. So, I will mark it like this. Okay. Now, you can remove the ball one so that I can mark the distance. So, this is the distance that I have marked from x at and this is on HP. So, this distance will be d from VP and I will show it as this d on VP. Clear to you? Oh, I have marked it as b. I am sorry. Oh, now it is b. The first was right. D. Okay. A few mistakes. Uh, this is this will be extended up till here, and this is the distance d. So this is on HP. As you can see, it is written HP. So this is on HP. So this is the top view. So I'll write down what I'll write down top view. Okay. Now we will do what we'll do. Have the front view. We'll have the front view. Again from the torch. We will have the front view from the torch. As you can see, this we can we have keeping it exactly perpendicular to it. So, this is the actual observer, this is the object, and this is as you can see, this shadow is actually the observation, uh, sorry, sorry, the projection of this point, this point on the vertical plane that is VP, as you can see here. So, again, I will draw what I will draw this point which is there, and this will show me what this will show me my uh, front view. Fv, I will uh, denote it as Fv and it is at a distance from h from this bottom uh, line that is xy. So, this line is there. Now, again what I will do, this is what? This is at a height h. Okay. So, now again what I will do is, 
this is the second quadrant okay now second quadrant is this way okay so now what will happen i have to turn this clockwise so for turning it clockwise how it, it will go it will go this way as the clock moves so actually what i am doing is i am closing this up and it will be this so you can visualize that these both points these both points this point if i close this up what will happen this point will found somewhere around here so at a distance d so this is now i'll remove this this is the final projection that i'll have this is the front view this top thing is the front view and this is the top view that i have and the same thing will be visual in the uh, slide that you can see the point was in the second quadrant so what will happen this will happen it is in front uh, it is behind d because see the, here the first quadrant will be there the observer is observing from here so this uh, the point is here which is d distance behind vp and at a height of h from hp so what will happen this when we turn this uh, hp clockwise to meet vp so this point which was actually getting projected here will get projected here and your final figure will look something of this sort so hp and vp both will come above the what above the xy line okay now let's move on to the uh, third quadrant now for third quadrant what am i going to have my it will be exactly vertical image of what vertical image of my uh, second quadrant okay now please can you do the demonstration once again first of all you can show it on the axis that axis that where is the ball standing in the third quadrant yeah good in third quadrant ball like point lies be a uh, below hp behind vp somewhat here we no. can explain on the plane if the object is in third quadrant then the shadow of the object is in vp gives the front view and the and the top, if we lights uh, below the object and the shadow of the object in the horizontal plane gives the top view. okay wait wait i'll just show you once again here is the torch you can hold it see this is what this is vp and this is hp now what is happening is the camera is focusing from here so my third quadrant is on that hand side so what i'll do is i'll just uh, i'll just take it away a little bit and i'll hold it in this manner so you can see this is my third quadrant now what happened is this is my fourth quadrant and this is my third quadrant so now yeah front view this is for the third quadrant now what will happen is now we'll have the torch so now that is again projecting the same thing on vp and if i do it from the bottom it will project it from hp okay so we will see that uh, i'll i'll not re repeat the same procedure but we will go on the slide and we will see that how it is getting done so if you can see this is hp and this is vp as we showed you and this is the ball that we showed you in pink that is this point is visible now what happens is that this is the distance it is behind vp and this is the h distance which is uh, below hp so now what we will do is this is the distance d behind vp and this is h in below hp so this will go and now what will happen is that this plane will actually get turned clockwise again and what here we'll have hp above and vp below so we have the top view at uh, above xy and uh, the front view below xy as you can see in the final figure okay moving on to the fourth quadrant okay if if the object is below hp and in front of vp then the object is is said to be in the fourth quadrant let now let us see yeah so this will be a better view of fourth because we have this as this if the object is in fourth quadrant then the shadow of the object in the horizontal plane gives the top view and the shadow of the object in the vertical plane gives the front view you're holding it wrong you're holding it wrong it will be this way 
this is the VP and this is HP as it is visible see yeah now we can go on please if the object is in the fourth quadrant then the shade of the object in the vertical plane gives the front view and the shade of the object in the horizontal plane gives the top view okay so now here what is going to happen is here again this object uh, this HP will get turned and we will have what we will have both as you can uh, as we will see here okay let us move uh, to the uh, PPT okay so now this is HP and this is VP so what will happen is in the fourth quadrant let us see it is again moving clockwise so the point is here and this is the final figure that we have both will be uh, what both will be below XY VP and HP and top view and front view both will be there okay so what have we derived from these explanations that we have what have we derived from these explanations we have derived as if we can see the front view if the uh, if the point is in for, uh, first quadrant and top view if the point is uh, below x y sir chala gaya main kahan se padhu it's okay it's okay yeah if the object is in, is above hp and in front of vp then it is in first quadrant if object is above x h uh, f uh, above hp and uh, above xy okay above xy and uh, behind uh, vp then it is called second quadrant if the object is below xy and uh, behind vp then it is in third quadrant if the object is below at, uh, xy and uh, in front of vp then it is in fourth quadrant okay very well said so above xy and below xy if it is front view is above x y and uh, top view is below x y then first quadrant similarly second third and fourth quadrant as Hadi and Umangi just explained okay so let us go to some cases the point is in H P and in front of V P now this is a special case why now we either uh, it was being in uh, above H P or below H P now this is actually in H P so what is going to happen is that H P is actually containing the point so the distance or say the height uh, that we are we were able to view in the vertical plane say this is the plane as you can see okay now here now what was actually happening is first we had what say if this is the first quadrant then this is in front uh, okay you can keep it here once if it was in front of vp and it was at a height from hp so this is the perfect angle to show you now actually what is happening is the point is actually in hp the point is actually in hp so now what will happen is if I project the torch if I project the torch you won't be able to see anything of this point above H, HP so we have this point on XY itself and what will happen is if I view it from the top then uh, from when the top when I move it will be at what it will be at a distance D from the line XY so what will actually happen let us see uh, in the presentation this is actually the case that will happen and this will be the outcome what will happen is the top view the top view uh, sorry the front view will actually be on xy and the top uh, top view will be there on I uh, will go back once the front view will be on xy and the top view will be here below xy as you can see okay this is for the this case is for the first quadrant and if we change the quadrants then what will happen then the uh, different points will get changed above and below okay then the next case that we have is point above hp and in vp now what is happening is point is above hp and in vp first what happened was okay, uh, we can we can see it from the this camera first the ball was in this quadrant now the ball is in this quadrant uh, sorry first the ball was in HP and now the ball is in VP so what if I if the observer is seeing it from here then he will be able to see the distance this much if I on the torch then this is the distance that I am able to see that is the height the elevation of the ball from XY now if I see it from the top what will happen the image of this point will be on this plane itself that is this line xy as you can see that was a perfect angle that we saw the this this line if i am projecting this image 
uh, projecting the shadow of this point on this plane itself then it will be a point which will be there on this line x y itself ok. So, let us see, see this is this is exactly in one line. So, what will happen is that these this point shadow will always be there on this plane and this is y. So, it will get projected on what this line x y as it is there in the presentation. The top view, uh, this is the uh, top view which is there, top view is there on x y and front view is there on what? It is there on v p ok. The next case below h p and in v p. Now, what is happening? The say uh, it is again in h p, but it is below v p. It is again in h p, but it is below v p. So, what will happen is that the front view the quadrant will change the rest of the things will remain the uh, same. It is there in h p and it is actually below v p. So, the quadrant has changed and nothing uh, everything else will actually remain here. actually it is here it is again in HP and it is actually below VP. So, what will happen is the distance uh, below VP is not given. So, this line the point will again be in what it will be there in this way the uh, top view will be there as PT uh, this is PT and this is front view again as PF ok. Now, the next is point is in HP and again behind VP. So, the same thing will be repeated again and this is the shadow that we will uh, sorry this is the figure that we will get on the sketchbook ok. Now, a example a very example now we will actually draw it again and this is for first quadrant. So, you will be able to visualize it very clearly. So, we will have this for, uh, first I uh, will read out the question as they arrange for this point is in VP and 30 mm below HP. So, what quadrant is it? So, again listen point it is in VP and 30 mm below what HP. So, point is in VP this is where the point is going to be and it is 30 mm this is the length 30 mm below what below this HP. So, it is there in the third quadrant ok. So, now what I will do is I will try to draw the projection. So, now this if I am viewing it from here and I am projecting the shadow now what will happen is this point will I will see at 30 mm from here. Now, if I try to visualize it from top what will happen I will just see a point on where on this.